let's talk about tile maps. The tile map allows us to basically paint on our world, our flooring, our backgrounds, bushes, shrubs, all the in between. And it makes it real easy to add collision and other things to our world. So that's what we're going to learn today. I'm going to start with a blank scene. Over here on a 2D node, we're going to add a 2D scene. And I'm going to call it world. You can call it world level, whatever you like. And to my world, I want to come up and search for tile map and add a tile map to it. So I've already imported my tile sheet uh, over here on the left. So use whichever one you want. I'll leave a link in the description to the asset package I'm using. But what we want to do is set up our tiles before we drag this in. Basically, we can add here or drag this in. But I want to come over here to tile set and create a new tile set. And then I want to click on that tile set again. And I want to set my tile size. I know my tile size is 18 by 18. If yours is 16 by 16, leave it 32 by 32. Whatever your tile size is, let's add it here. So when we add our tile sheet to our tile map, our tile set, it can do the work for us, or at least most of the work for us. So I'm going to come down here and click on tile set now. And I'm just going to drag my tile sheet in. And it's going to ask me, do you want to create tiles in the atlas? And I'm going to click yes, because I know my 18 pixels by 18 pixels is correct. And as you can see, it basically automatically set up all of our tiles to be the correct size, which is nice for us. And so from here, what we should do is create our layers. Now, there's two menus. There's this inspector here with layers. And there's also the tile set little inspector or menu here with physics layers. I'm going to add a, a layer here and I'm going to call it ground. And then I'm going to come up to tile set and click on it again. And I'm going to add a physics layer as well. And I'm just going to leave them both one. I'm, I'm not sure if collision masks even matter. But you could say have one collision for your player, maybe add another collision for AI, uh, and so on, depending on how you want them to interact with your world. I'm just going to keep mine both one. And then I'm going to come over here to paint. And I want to select a property. And I'm going to select our physics layer zero. And this will allow us to add collision to our shapes so that way our player doesn't just fall through the floor it will have a collision that it can interact with so i'm just going to click on each one of these and add the shape so now collision has been added to these three tile sets and and you can come in and, and put collision on whichever ones you want and you can also come over here and adjust your collision to the shape that you need and click on certain points and add that and draw around if you have a particular shape. But I don't want to do that. I just want to leave my shape as a rectangle. I understand it's a little too big, but this is a basic video and I don't want to get fancy. So I'm going to undo all that. I'll let you guys take the time to mess with your own. And then what we can do uh, since these three tiles are ready, we can come over here to tile map now and we can pick as many as we want. So we can we can highlight all three of them or just the center one and we can zoom in here and we can draw these out and say we want to put the end one on there and the end one on here. And so now we have a floor. Let's save this. Command S to save. And I guess let's go ahead and show a, that we can create a character, other node. Let's do character body 2D. And I just want to do, let's see, let's just use the icon. So let's go ahead and add a sprite, 2D sprite, and add a collision, shape 2D. Let's set our shape collision to just a rectangle and let's also set our sprite to the icon let's just drag it over and let's change the shape of the collision i'm going to hold down option 
drag this out. Let's rename this to player. Command S to save, enter to save it. And in my world, I want to instantiate a reference to my player. And where is that at? Should be up here in the corner somewhere, which is gigantic. I'm working with pixel art. So let's come here into player and let's just resize this node by coming to transform. And I'm gonna scale it back to 0.2. See if that makes a difference. Command S to save. Sure, that's good enough. And let's just drop him here above the ground somewhere and see if he falls and lands on it. So let's do play scene. And we forgot to add a script to our player for movement. So let's come in here to player and let's go to add a script. And we just are going to use the template for basic movement. Create that. Command S to save, come back to our world. We can click the run button, select this as the current main scene. And as you can see, I hope you can see it's pretty small because uh, I didn't set up screen size or anything, but we have collision. So we're on our platform. Okay. And let's go back to our tile map and 2D. And we can come here and just draw some more. We want to be under tile map for drawing. You have a pencil here. This is just going to paint whatever you select. You also have a straight line, which will basically give you a straight line. You can do the same thing by holding the pencil and holding shift. It will give you a straight line as well. And you can draw rectangles. And this is a fill, so if you, if you clicked on that let's see if we had let's draw here with the paint let's draw a square and then take the fill button and we can fill that square in here's our erase tool so we can click on that and erase things that's really it you need to have a physics layer and I would recommend having layers over here these layers get referenced over here by this so if we wanted to have another layer we could add another layer and call this uh, vegetation let's just call it veg for short and so if we drew something on our tile map say we came over here and we just added Oop, take yourself off a race if you selected that. Say we just added a floor and we wanted to put our vegetation in like trees and stuff. Then we can come over here, change ground to vegetation, and now we're drawing on the vegetation layer. So it's good to keep these things separated. Pretty easy, but something you will use over and over again. It will come in very handy, and I would get lots of practice with this. Until next time. Ciao.